Ukraine war Russians likely targeted Hamelnitsky nuclear plant. Zelensky. A Russian drone attack on western Ukraine likely targeted a nuclear power plant. President Volodymyr Zelensky says. Iranian-designed shaped drones struck the area around the power plant in the western Hamelnitsky region early on Wednesday. He said, the attack injured 20 people and caused light damage, including broken windows. The International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA said the plant's operations were unaffected. Powerful explosions shook an area near Ukraine's Hamelnitsky nuclear power plant. IAEA Director General Rafael Grossi said in a statement, the blasts highlight the dangers to nuclear safety posed by the war, he added. The Hamelnitsky plant has two reactors. One is operating, and one has been in planned outage since August. Fears of fighting affecting. A nuclear power plant have been omnipresent since Russia first invaded Ukraine in February 2022. Russian forces have controlled the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in eastern Ukraine. Since March 2022, Kiwivi accuses Russia of shelling the plant and risking a radiation leak, behavior it characterizes as nuclear terror. No serious accident has occurred since the full-scale invasion last year. However, Merzelensky said the attack in the Hamelnitsky region showed that Ukraine's air defenses needed further support from international partners. He added that Russian drones and missiles contained components originating from Western companies and countries and the Hamelnitsky strike showed how dangerous it can be when Russia can bypass international sanctions. On Tuesday, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced a 1 point for billion euros 1 dollar 5 bn 1 pound 2 billion aid package for Ukraine. The new aid will include missile defense systems with the aim of creating a protective shield around Ukrainian infrastructure, given Russian plans to use the cold and energy shortages as weapons against the civilian population. He said, separately, Ukrainian intelligence claimed on Thursday that a car carrying for members of Russia's FSB security service was blown up in Berdyansk, in the Zaporizhia region. According to Russian media, at least one person was killed by an apparent improvised explosive device. The reported bombing is the latest in a string of attacks targeting Russian officials and collaborators in occupied Ukraine. In September, Vladimir Molov, a member of Russian President Vladimir Putin's United Russia Party in the Kherson region, was killed when his car was blown up in an apparent assassination. Assassination.